Hello everybody, we are a pharmacy student in first stage. We will present reports about coronavirus. We will talk about quarantine period, identify COVID-19, its symptoms, treatment, protection, efforts of health and military staff to overcome this crisis. Quarantine is a procedure according to the law of infectious disease through which we can control the spread of infectious disease. Quarantine means reducing the freedom of movement of healthy person because infectious disease can cause infection before the main symptoms of the disease appear. It is a precaution. Despite the fact that the quarantine period is boring, we can make it a positive thing. One of these positives is family reunification. After they were all busy working or studying so that everyone now has time to spend their day with their family. On the other hand, there were those who suffered from stress and tension, both in their work and their study. The isolation of these homes gave them some calm in their lives as they gave them the opportunity to move away from the daily stress and rearrange their ideas as well as gave others the opportunity to discover some of their hidden talents as experts say that boredom may lead some to a novel. And if you feel bored during the isolation, you may discover your talent in cooking, drawing, design, or technology. You can also use different applications to learn a new language or attend electronic lessons on a site. Sometimes the simplest things are the best. Enjoy a warm drink, relax on the sofa, or read an interesting book. That might be all you need to recharge your energy and reach an inner balance. Coronaviruses are a large family of viruses. They are found in animals. Some of them known to infect and cause illness, such as Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, as in MERS, and Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, as in SARS. Novel Coronavirus, or 2019-COV, is a new strain of coronaviruses, which was first detected in Wuhan, China in December 2019. The disease that caused by novel coronavirus is named as COVID-19. Fever, tiredness, and a dry cough are the most common symptoms of COVID-19. Some infected people may also experience aches and pains, nozzle congestion, runny nose, sore throat, or diarrhea. Symptoms of COVID-19 are usually mild and begin gradually. Also surprisingly, some infected people don't even develop symptoms and don't feel unwell. It is estimated that more than 80% of people recover without the need of special treatment, but it also estimated that 1 out of 6 people suffering from COVID-19 will become seriously ill and will develop difficulty breathing leading to pneumonia. Also people with underlying medical problems like high blood pressure, cardiovascular diseases or diabetes, as well as older people are more likely to develop serious illness. It advised by the WHO that people with fever, cough and difficulty breathing should seek medical attention. So, how does the virus invade the lungs? Coronavirus enters the body when the respiratory system inhales it, when someone infected coughs near to you, or when you come into contact with contaminated surface and then touch your face.
The incubation period, which is the period between the infection and the appearance of the symptoms, varies greatly from person to person, but we have an average between 4 days to 14 days. Professor John Wilson, the president of the Royal Australian College of Physicians and the respiratory doctor for Gridian newspaper says, when a person with COVID-19 suffers from coughing and fever, this means that the infection has reached the surface of the respiratory trachea, the passages that connect air between the lungs and the outside. The surface of the bronchial tubes are then injured, causing inflammation and irritation of the nerve on the surface of the bronchi, and the fine dust particles may cause an acute cough. But if the condition worsens, it will travel from the surface of the bronchial tubes to reach the gas exchange unit, the alveoli, that is located at the end of the airways. It becomes infected by reacting and secreting an inflammatory substance into the air sacs at the bottom of each lung. Wilson says, if the air sacs become inflamed, this causes fluid and inflammatory cells to flow into the lungs and ends up with pneumonia. And when the lungs are filled, with the inflammatory substance, they can't put enough oxygen into the arteries, which reduce the lungs' ability to take oxygen and get rid of carbon dioxide, which is usually the cause of death from acute pneumonia. Wash your hands for 20 seconds, frequently, regularly, and thoroughly clear your hands with alcohol-based hand drop that contains at least 60% alcohol or wash them with soap and water to kill viruses that may be on your hands. Maintain distance with no hugging and no hand checks. Maintain at least 1 meter, 3 feet distance between yourself and anyone and no hugging and no hand checks in order to help yourself to stay healthy by avoiding close contact who can spread the virus. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Hands can transfer the virus to your eyes, nose, and mouth. From then, the virus can enter to your body and can make you sick. Proper hygiene. This means covering your mouth and nose with your bent elbow or tissue when you cough or sneeze. Because cough or sneeze spray small liquid droplets that may be clouding the COVID-19 or any viruses. By following good respiratory hygiene, you protect the people around you from viruses. Then, you should dispose of the used tissue immediately and wash your hands. Stay at home to protect yourself and your family from the virus and to avoid contact and spread the virus and avoid crowded places. Wear gloves. Hands touch many surfaces and can pick up virus once contaminated. Put mask when you go outside. Everyone should put mask to taking care of someone with COVID-19. People with corona can transmit the virus before they realize they have it. So, wearing a mask in public places may help reduce the spread of the virus by people without symptoms. And the mask should be disposed of immediately after use. Increase immunity. One of the most important measures to prevent infection with the coronavirus is increased immunity. We can increase our immunity by eating healthy food, such as fruits and vegetables, play sports regularly, and take vitamins as drug. Stay wet. That is by drinking a lot of water because white cells are better at fighting infection and flushing out toxins and germs from the body. Follow the direction of World Health Organization. If you have fever, cough, and difficulty breathing, seek medical care early. Use antiseptic to clean surfaces. Clean frequently touched objects and surfaces daily, such as tables, counters, doorknobs, light switches, and cabinet. This is because viruses and bacteria are easily attached to him. Take chloroquine because 
It can be used as a preventive treatment for the virus, as stated by the World Health Organization. We do not forget the efforts of the health sector. While we are at home, the White Army fighting abroad in the front rows to fight this virus for our sick, they deny their eyes sleep and put themselves at risk until they do not give themselves a rest. They work long and continuous hours until their features change and they become signs of wearing the muzzle. Thank you from the heart for your presence, for your efforts and for your golden hearts. And thank you from the heart for the efforts of the nation's soldiers, for their contribution to preserving our lives and monitoring the curfew. You have given us a lot, so you are a wall of the homeland. What did COVID-19 teach us? Firstly, is a pleasing and curse at the same time. We as a human beings are responsible through our actions on the lives of others. We live in a global interdependent link that is not broken. We understand that we must replace self-love with love of the other that we missed in the recent years. Secondly, COVID-19 taught us that the world is a small bull and a little creature that is not seen with the naked eye capable of moving from one side to other within hours. The world united and rejected racism and transcendence as it equated the poor and the rich and it attacked the citizen, the ruler and the prince, the king. Third, taught us patience for everything and convinced the smallest thing that we may have seen and also that we sit with our family, get close to them, embarrass them and leave the mobile device in their prisons to live the most beautiful moment and seek the value of expressing our feelings. Fourthly, it also reminds us of our weaknesses and our lack of tricks in front of God's ability and thus is a message for humanity by return to God always and to when creeds our prayers and draw near to God is more. Fifth, even if we are in our homes, we will continue to develop ourselves and study because the people of knowledge are the triumphant in the end. Corona's human message are endless. It must be considered that what happened is a warning about how to prepare to face such epidemic in the future. Therefore, legitimate reason and an optimal solution must be taken as a prevention is said to be better than treatment and applied to yourself and your family. This happens in case of non-compliance with the prevention measures and indifference to the virus. It's a global virus. We must adhere to the prevention measures to protect ourselves, our families and our country from the risk of spreading the virus. The current death toll due to the reptile virus is now in the thousands. Stay at home. Lapsu house.